I did a video, oh, it's been a few years ago, on, it's, it's entitled something like, what happens to your guitar when you change string gauge? And uh, it was mainly on acoustic guitar, though that applies to electrics too. But I got a good response from that video, a lot of traffic from it, and I thought I want to do another one. It's the same thing. What happens to your guitar when you change string gauge on electric guitar this time? Let's do it! Welcome back, folks. Yes, sir. Uh, this guitar here, you old subscribers will remember that. Uh, I want to do a shout out to Gary and Dolores and a third person, very special special person, person if I can talk, uh, Gary and Dolores and a third special person that wants to remain anonymous. anonymous. Wow, I can't talk to them like Anyways, thank you guys. Hope y'all's doing well. They are the three responsible for this guitar. The anonymous, uh, anonymous one, especially. Anyways, it's got tens on it. Tens to 48s, I think. That's what it is. Elixirs. And I have here uh, elixirs 9 to 46s. So we're going to drop down one, one uh, I don't know if that's a gauge or not, but it, these are littler. So what I'll do is get you over here, and we're going to take all the measurements on this thing. Take all the measurements, measure the nut action, measure the uh, neck relief, measure the string action, check everything. All I'm going to do is swap the strings out, and then we'll measure all that stuff again and see how much difference. It ain't going to be a lot of difference, but I'm betting there'll be a little bit. So let's do it! What happens to your guitar when you change the string gauge? That's what we're going to find out. So, with these heavier strings, now, granted on that acoustic video I did, was more, more drastic change than we're going to be doing on this one. Uh, you know, I was doing it to show, prove the point. They change, the guitars change, there's going to be less stre uh, stress on the neck, on the entire guitar, so, you know, there's probably going to be lesser relief in the neck. So, uh, I've got 16 thousandths out here. And I can feel that. It's exactly what it is. You can hear the strings ring under it. Just barely. It's exactly 16. Here's the 10. Yeah, it is 10. Yeah, first and second one is 10. 10 thousandths. And 3, 4, 5, and 6. It's 16,000. Now, y'all got to help me remember this. Because, you know, I can't remember too good. <laughs> Most of you know about that. Cold in here, man. It's cold outside tonight. Well, it's 64 degrees in here. It's not cold, cold, you know what I mean? But it's it ain't warm either. All right. We'd like to see... About ten thousandths right here too. I'm gonna to note down here about the nineteenth fret. And it's raising the string. Wow. I haven't checked this guitar for a while. Yeah, it's less than ten. Man, that's super low action on this puppy. All right, it's less than 10. I got an eight right here. Let's try that. That's even raising the string. Wow, man. I can't believe that, that action's that low. And the, I mean, the neck relief. See, that one go under there. Oh, there it went. Okay, hold on. It's raising the action. And this is an 8, so we'll go with a 7. I can't believe that guitar don't buzz, man. I mean, that, that is... That's it. I can get it in there. Boy, my hands are cold, man, and they do not work. They don't work when it's warm. Let alone when it's cold like this, when they're cold. That's it. You can hear that. You can't hear it on that one. 
It's that one. I don't know if the camera's picking that up or not. Okay, so we got seven thousandths neck relief. I'll just leave that out. And lay it right there. Wow, that's incredible, man. Incredibly tight setup. Well, I set the guitar up. I didn't do anything to the nut. But I'll set the guitar up. We'll start here at the 12th fret. Around and around we go. Make sure that camera's running. Yeah, it is. Okay, the high E string on the 12th fret. Oh, it's 464. Low E string is. Uh, it's 564. I thought that actually was lower than that. There, it buzzes a little bit there if you play it hard. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to shut the camera off now because I don't want to bore you completely to death. I'm going to take these strings off. I might polish the frets while I got them off. And put those, fret, uh, those strings back on it. Like I say, we're going from not, uh, 10 to uh, 48, I think is what this is, down to a 9 to a 46. I'm not going to adjust anything. I'm not going to turn or loosen anything. <laughs> you old subscribers will remember that. Just put the strings on it, come back and take these measurements again. I'll bring you back for that. Hold on. You know, this is the way to do this, man. The ones that go through the back, I thought I'd just show you. I like to put them all in, all six through here and then flop the guitar over and you're ready to wire him up or her if yours is female how you all been doing man thought maybe we'd just talk a little bit along the way as we go <laughs> Hope everybody's getting along good I thought I had it through there here now, I felt it hit my leg. Why is that third string doing that? Come back up out of the out of the hole. Yes, sir. See what a difference this makes. And I thought, you know, I'd show a little bit of this too, so nobody could say, "Well, you didn't really change the strings. We don't know. We didn't see you change them. We don't really know that you did." So I figured I'd show a little bit of it like this, so you would know that I did. Now I'm just going to hold all of them, if I can get a hold of them, and flop the guitar over. There you go, I'll bring you back when I polish the frets too, and uh, the hardware. I'll bring you back when I get these wires on. <laughs> and here's you another shot, just so people can't say, well how do we know you really changed the strings at all? <laughs> I doubt this guitar is going to change that much no more than uh, no more than a difference the gauges are going to be before someone asked what happened to my finger there I uh, did something very stupid <laughs> fell asleep with a cigarette between those two fingers and it woke me up And this thing is hard on batteries. Anyways, there you go. That's what I'm doing. Just want to let you see that I am putting new strings on it, changing them, putting new ones on it. And they are lighter gauge. Just want to make sure that, that was confirmed. Alright, I didn't expect this to change very much. Y'all remember what the numbers were? These top three anyway, four was uh, a 10 and a 6. 
And that's, I got a 10 and a 6 and a 7. Wow, that 6 they want to play. 10 and a 6, okay. Let's see if they're still... I don't figure this will change very much. You can hear the string ringing under that. It's a... Uh, those four are exactly the same. This over here was lesser. And it still is. Hear that? So, really, that's not important. That's not going to change that much. On up here is what I think is going to be different. Or at least one of the things is going to be different. Now, I set that back that way before, so do it the same way again. Now, this was seven thousandths, remember? Give me a seven. I gotta get down here where I can see this jewel. Noted on the 17th fret, I believe it was. And right here. Look at this. Can you hear that? It did change. See, there's not as much stress on that neck now as there was. Allowing the neck to be straighter. Just as we figured. Yeah. This is a 7,000th, guys, and it's, it's tight under there. You can hear it. Hopefully you can hear that. And it's lifting the string big time. Okay, let's try six. Let's just see how much it did go down. Let me find the six here. That's even raising it. Wow. That neck is almost straight. May be straight now. <laughs> I can't believe it. There. Uh -huh. All right, let's go to five. <clears throat> A major change. Just dropping it down one gauge. Look how thin that's starting to get. <laughs> that's even raising it. Wow. I think the neck might straighten completely out because it only had seven thousandths in it to begin with. Yeah. Almost goes under that one. Well, let's go down to a four. If I even have one that thin. Some of these are missing on this set. This set's getting old. Yeah, there's a four. This set's really getting old. Alright. I mean, it's really, check that out for thinness now. It's still lifting it. I don't know if you can see that on the camera or not, but it's lifting that string. And this is four thousandths. There, it'll go under that one without lifting it. And that one. Not that one, these two it will. So we went from seven thousandths neck relief down to four thousandths. That's three thousandths difference. That's a pretty good bit when you know when it comes to your action. Wow, I didn't think it moved that much though. So that's what happens when you when you uh, change your string gauge on your guitar. All right, this was four sixty fours and five sixty fours. The high E string now. It's just barely under 464, but it's not 364. This is 464. What was it before? 564 it was before. So what did we learn? 
This dropped a 64th. This dropped uh, kind of in between six, maybe 364s. I couldn't. It's closer to 364s than it was 464s, but it wasn't quite three. Our neck relief went from seven thousandths to uh, what was that four? Wow! This up here didn't change much. I didn't figure it would. That baby ought to be easy to play. I mean, wow! Look at the action on this. If you can see that. I mean, it's down there. Let's see if it buzzes. Buzzes a little bit up here. If you, I'm playing it hard though. Someone that just touches the guitar. Thing plays itself man very very easy to play so there you go folks it's what can happen to your guitar when you change string gauge uh, granted you know it won't be exactly what happened here I, your conditions may vary a little bit a little bit I just wanted to demonstrate though what can and does happen you know if you change the stress and the amount of pull on that neck and your saddles and everything back there the neck straightens out action goes down your relief changes your whole setup basically is different then so uh if you know how to set your guitar up you know change the string gauge and see if it'll play or if you like it you can imagine if i would have went even lighter than that say maybe to an eight or went up heavy to heavy strings like you know a 12 even it would throw through it completely out the other direction if i'd have went up in gauge it would have created more stress it would have pulled more relief into the neck. The action would have got higher. And, uh, you know, same difference. It's just in the opposite direction. Anyways, I had that video. I did that on uh, an acoustic guitar. And it's a different beast from electric is. So I thought, I'm going to make a video on electric guitar. Change the string gauge. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. I hope it helps you. Peace. And I'll see you soon. 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 Yeah.